Since the Ocarina of Time decompilation project and the ship of Arcanian PC port, the door of ports to other consoles opens and today I will be showcasing the Switch port and I will explain to you how to install this port. In order to do this you will need a modded Switch and a way to put files on your SD card. To mod your Switch there are a bunch of great tutorials on YouTube on how to mod it. If you want to soft mod your Switch, meaning software mod or modding without soldering a mod chip in your Switch, you will need a specific Switch model, which you can check by looking at your serial number and putting this number in on the website you will find in the description below. Now from this point forward I'm assuming that you have a modded Switch ready to go. And without further ado, let's install the Ocarina of Time port to your Switch. On the website builds.chipofarkinian, we will find the Switch port under develop zora Select the latest build and download the soh-switch.zip file. You also have to download the Windows, Mac or Linux version depending on what operating system you are using. I am using a Windows PC so I will be downloading the soh.zip file. Now we will extract both files. In the soh-switch file you will find the .nro file which is the file that your Switch will recognize as an app and launch the game with. Besides the NRO file, you will need a OOT.OTR file, which is a file that contains all the assets from the game, like textures, sounds and models. You will need to generate this OTR file yourself by using the otrgoi.exe that you can find in the SOH zip file you just downloaded. To create the OTR assets file, you will need a very specific Ocarina of Time ROM. You will need the debug ROM that is not Master Quest. I cannot give you this ROM file or tell you where you can download it, as that would be illegal. You will need to find the ROM file yourself. I repeat, I cannot give you the ROM file and you will need to find it yourself. Once you get a hold of the correct ROM, you can open the otrgoi.exe and select the ROM file. Now it will be creating the OOT.OTR file. Now that you have the NRO and the OTR file, you can put them together in a folder called SOH and you are ready to put the folder on the Switch's SD card. There are a few ways you can put files on your SD card. I find the easiest and quickest way is to either use an FTP server or to use DBI like I did which allows you to connect your PC and switch using a USB-C cable and transfer files just like that. On the SD card we will have to go to the switch folder and place the SOH folder in there. Once this is done we can go back to the homebrew launcher and find the ship of Arcanian port waiting for us. Now you just simply have to open the app and enjoy playing Ocarina of Time natively on your Switch. Now you might be wondering, what is the point of having a native port if you have access to a Switch Online release? Are there any differences? Well, upon launching the game you will notice a big improvement right away, the aspect ratio. The native port runs in widescreen meaning there is no ugly border and you have a broader view in the game. Besides that though, there are many other improvements here. Simply press the minus button and an enhancements bar will appear on the top of your screen. Press the X button and you can start scrolling through the enhancements using the D-pad and the A button. Alternatively, you can use the touchscreen to scroll through these settings like that. What I personally recommend you to do is go to the enhancements, enhancements presets and select enhanced. Then scroll down and turn frame interpolation to 60 FPS. Now I will show you side by side comparison between Switch Online version and the Ship of Arcanian port. Enjoy.